I've been studying with April for about eight months, and when I came, I had had previous voice lessons and I trained for a while, but it was really interesting because. April took me to a whole nother level because her focus at that point was okay you're trained but now it was kind of like a puzzle piece like I had all the pieces but they weren't all together so she really took my voice and worked it even it out and really with me worked a lot on my mentality and how I was thinking because for me I was thinking everything was compartmentalized and you know I had my chest voice here, my mixed voice here, my head voice here, and she really got me out of my head instead of thinking like that and like you have this one voice and let's just work through it. And that's kind of where we've been, mm -hmm. really. And I just, even in these eight months, which may seem like a lot of time, but you know, when you're really working, it's, it's not. And in these eight months, I've seen so much growth. How is it in terms of like your audition skills? How have those improved? I think uh, just giving me more confidence, really. You know, because it's like before I feel like I would go into auditions and I would freak out before the singing part. And I'd be like, oh God, I gotta do this and this part in the song. And if I have to switch here and just, you know, being so much in my head. But now I feel like, okay, I do the work here. We work all the issues out. And then when I get to the audition, I just kind of go and let the chips fall where they may. But I feel like right now we're getting to a point in my voice where I'm starting to know what's going to come out of my mouth before I do it. Whereas before, I was just like, God, please let this fall right. I don't know what's about to happen. Yeah. But now it's like, you work it, you work it, and you drill with April what you're supposed to be doing. Then as soon as I open my mouth, I know what's going to happen, so I don't have to fear it anymore. Awesome. And range, too. Mm -hmm. God, oh, yeah. Like range. I know. Sometimes I'm like, ooh, I just hit that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but. you did. And sometimes I'll be hitting that note going, by the way, do you know that you vocalized all the way to an F above high C? And she's like, I can't sing that high. This is a common thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. you can! <laughs> Surprise! Yeah. What was or still is the hardest thing for you to manage or get over the thing that bothers you the most that you want to conquer? Okay, so there's two things. Uh, one of it's a vocal thing, which is is my middle, my mixed voice, you know, really working on blending it. But April's always telling me, you know, that for a lot of singers, that is the the issue that they have a lot of problems with. So it's just being patient with that because that it's going to grow, it's gotten better. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's just that, being patient, which is a big problem that I have. <laughs> and then I think the other thing is just really getting out of my head, you know what I mean? Stop trying to listen to myself and just like the voice that I have at the sure. end of the day, you know? Because I feel like we all kind of put pressure on ourselves. We're like, oh, I like this sound, I wish I could sound more like this. And at the end of the day, this is what you have. Mm -hmm. So you need to know how to work with your instrument the best way you can. Right. So yeah, I think that's the biggest thing for me. And you've had some really great moments too. Sometimes yeah. I'll say, that was fantastic. And you'll look around and go, it was? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, that was amazing. I loved it. You know, mm -hmm. so, so we have those moments too. So um, tell, uh, tell us, uh, if you're talking to singers, like say for example, somebody that's never taken lessons or somebody that's mm -hmm. had lessons or people that are at a point in their voice where they just kind of want to hesitate or they're not sure, they don't really feel like they can get to the next level and they're singing, mm -hmm. what would you tell them? Um, start training because like I've been training for a while but it's so funny because when I think back to when I first started I could not sing I mean I was terrible but I was so no, I'm, I'm like not even exaggerating I didn't have a good voice I had no range I literally had like five notes I could sing which were really low it was just crazy but I was so determined to get myself there so I just kept practicing I studied and I just, I was on it. And then after a while, I was like, oh, my voice just kept growing and growing. And now, you know, years later, I'm here and it's still growing. Because some people are like, well, once you do a couple years, you're done. It's so not true. My voice, even in these eight months, have grown drastically and they're just going to keep growing. And that's the thing. It's an instrument. you got to keep working it out, working it out. Because you'll start to realize things you couldn't do years ago, you can now do. You know, your voice is just... And I just think about my voice, I'm like... Even though I've been training for a long time, I haven't even begun to tap into all that I can do, and I know that because there's moments like you said in our lesson we'll hear it, and it's not consistent, so that's why you got to keep working it out. But we get to see the little sneak preview, yeah, <laughs> which is exactly. nice, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I just say if you're new to singing or you've been singing and you're having a hard time, just keep doing it. Like just dedicate those time, like every day if you can, warm up, practice, coach with someone, because it you'll start to see a difference. But you gotta put the time in. Right. And what would you say to people that are afraid to sing? Just in general, like I don't want to sing, I'm too afraid. Like you're more advanced, mm -hmm. you're in the acting, you're in the, the musical theater end of it and other places. 
but people that just want to sing for a hobby that just like I just want to sing but I, I'm, I'm too afraid to take lessons or I don't think lessons will work for me mm -hmm. or I'm afraid I First, think it's big yeah fun. I think stop being afraid what are you afraid of I mean at the end of the day and, and this is the thing, if you're afraid to take lessons, it's just you and the coach, and trust me, they've heard every type of voice you can imagine. Even if you think you're terrible, okay, so this is the thing, people, you can't really actually hear what you sound like truly <laughs> because of vibrations and everything, so don't even listen to what you sound like. Come in, the coach is not here to criticize you or judge you, they're there to help you and reach your goals for whatever that is. So it's such an intimate space, and there's, like, I never feel in my lessons, like, I make mistakes, my voice crack, but I never feel like, oh, April's judging me, or maybe, oh, she's probably like, ooh, she can't sing. I never feel like that, you know, she's on my team. You know, she's always encouraging me and wants the best for me. So at the end of the day, you want that support in your corner, because it's, it's great when you do get those little... Sure. moment so I just say push the fear aside you know what I mean fear is gonna stop you from doing a lot of things but don't be that person you know and if you're so scared try it out one time take a lesson and see you'll be surprised yeah